Hello guys and welcome to another episode of Bite Size Gaming. For this episode we have CDs 2012 from Focused Home Entertainment. It's a city simulator where you can actually uh, build your own city and you know, you guys know how simulators work. Uh, but this game was just released today and I thought I was gonna give it a shot and show you guys exactly how it works. You see here that uh, I have a little map of the world. Um, this is what you get when, you, when you're, you're gonna start a city. Um, you have to pick uh, your region and whatnot. This is obviously doesn't represent the doesn't represent Earth, but um, uh, just you got many different types of um, of regions: grassy cliffs, uh, lake lands. You got mountain sides and whatnot. But I'm gonna go ahead and load a pre-existing city that I was uh, working on, so I can have a. So I can explain to you guys a little better how it actually works. Here I'm gonna load. Let's see which one was it. Nope, that was not it. Here, this one. Okay. Ah, uh, you can see there the construction of my city in real time. Like it's not real time, it's more like fast forward. <laughs> but here it is. A uh, little city I've been building. Now, uh, the first thing I want to show you guys uh, before we actually start, um, I want to you know, let you guys know that you can actually zoom in, and uh, when you do, you get everything that's uh, going on in the city. Um, you see here that the simulator is actually pretty strong. Uh, you get actual real, um, first of all, traffic. The traffic is actually pretty. Um, it's pretty well done. I mean, you you get um, a simulation of the of how real traffic actually works. You see there that you don't see any kind of collisions or anything like that. Um, and uh, the traffic actually matters a lot in the game. You have to build your city corresponding you know, to where the the guys. Like for example, if um you have here all the the little housing for your guys. And if they have to work on the other side of town, uh, you see there, it um, you have to make sure that they have the ability to actually go to work on time and all that. Um, uh, yeah, just showing you guys just how realistic it is. But uh, I'm gonna get a little bit into how the construction works and how you actually start building a city. First of all, the first thing you need to know is that you need to connect your city to the outside world. First thing that you need to do. You see here? It's a little interstate there. Uh, you actually build this this uh, little road in the very beginning. And uh, and then you build your little town hall. After that then you're set. Uh, what you do is that you can, you can see here I can go ahead and uh, start building some houses. These are, see here, these are unskilled workers. So what that means is this is pretty much the uh, the people that work on factories, like for example here, heavy industry. Uh, these people that I'm uh, bringing here are going to be working here, heavy industry. Now, um, because I've added a bunch of them, I've added a couple of blocks there, uh, I'm probably going to need to actually add more businesses here, you can see here. It's heavy industries. It's a, it's a pretty nice representation of how it is. Um, I can build, you can see here, skilled workers. So your regular, I guess, white collar. You can see there the houses are actually, the houses look much better um, than the uh, than the average unskilled. You see they're pretty simple houses. Uh, these houses tend to be more more classy. You see that? It looks pretty cool. These guys usually work on offices. You see here? I've made some offices over here. Offices. Now, you have to keep in mind, you see here, uh, you'll get little annotations that's telling you know what you're doing wrong or what you need to do. It's telling me traffic congestion is bad, so I have to fix that. And I will eventually. But um, there's a lot of things that you have to do in this game, and I'm gonna actually make a tutorial for that on my next video, and uh, my next video, so that you guys can have a better idea of how everything works. But for this video, I'm just simply gonna show you guys everything that you can do, and everything that's actually included in the game. So you can make different types of workers. See here, unskilled workers, skilled workers, executives, and elites. 
and the, each of these workers obviously uh, need different types of jobs. You can you cannot have an elite working on a on a factory or he's just gonna leave the city. Um, see here, different industries. These are the type of works uh, that you can make. Uh, you can make a let me just put it here. It'll look pretty while I talk. <laughs> you can make a food industries, just little uh, plantations, farmings, and uh, agricultural areas. Um, heavy industries. These are the the normal, the first jobs that you should be getting. Uh, this for unskilled workers. You can see here you can actually change the density. Uh, so for example, let's say here, these are all of these are low density, so they don't require that many people, uh, and they're for small cities. But if I put, for example, here high density. You can see here these are actually much bigger factories than this ones, more hardcore ones if you will, and they require more people and require a bigger city. Now, let's see what else we got. We got exceptional. You can see here it's locked because I don't have enough uh, enough resources, but uh, I'll get into that in the tutorial. Just see uh, as much uh, badass uh, working station there, manufacturing. The same thing is that this one requires uh, some executives and uh, more more stuff, you know, high tech, and offices. So there's many different kind of works that you can actually set up for your city. You have your commerce. Here's what you. Uh, this is what you do to uh, increase the happiness of your town. Let's put it here so you can see the overall city. Um, commerce. You can make little stores. Let's see here. You can see when I click here. You can see all the stores that I have. I have these all my stores, and uh, you see that I'm trying to make it cover most of the city. So I need the store here. I'm gonna do like, I'm gonna do like this, and then put it here. So now I'll start creating some stores over there. You see that it's actually red in here. This is that, that means that uh, my stores are not covering this area, and I should, I, I should start building some here to cover those areas. So it's pretty nice in that way that it tells you everything that you need to know. Uh, as long as you know what you're looking for, then. Uh, you will find it. Uh, so yeah, you can make stores. That obviously, I mean, that's obviously necessary for your houses. All of these are actually. Let me take that off. All of these are actually houses uh, for for your people. And making stores close to that is necessary for them, or they will just leave the city if they're unhappy. You can make hotels, which is pretty nice. Uh, you can you have to make, for example, business hotels. You make those uh, close to the offices. Uh, close to the industries and whatnot, and or you can make holiday hotels, um, you know, close to your resorts or you know whatever you have to see here. I have a pretty cool resort and have a big hotel there. Uh, leisure is uh, this is just strictly increasing the happiness of your people. You can you can uh, you see here where is uh, where is green is where it's actually I'm I'm good on that, and where is yellow is where I could get better on. So I'll just put it where it's a little yellow. That should make that area a little bit better. Um, but you got many things, baseball, um, swimming pools, uh, you know, paintball, it's pretty cool. You got many things. Uh, utilities, this is uh, more of a resource kind of thing. Uh, the electricity, you do need electricity in certain parts of the area, or especially on the, on the industrial section of your town, you need a lot of electricity, water, you know, many obvious things. Uh, you see here, I cannot just have a water pump anywhere. Uh, there's strictly, you know, places where I can have a water pump. Uh, for obvious reasons, uh, waste disposal and fuel. Fuel is more like oil and those type of things. Uh, right now, I uh, my city is not big enough for that. City services, you know, your hospitals, your schools, your police stations, fire stations, you know, all that that you actually need um, in order for your city to to be working. Eventually, if you don't have those, your people will complain and they will start leaving town and whatnot. And obviously, you don't want that. Now this is a little nice addition in this game that I really enjoy. Uh, you see here decorations. Now um, with this you can actually fill out spots that are incomplete. You see here that uh, I have this. I made this little paintball court, uh, but I have this all this space left over empty that I actually want to fill up because it looks terrible. I can just go here, put a uh, wooded park area. And fill that up, and it, it looks it looks nice. It looks much better at least than before. So I mean, you got you got different ones here, and uh, 
you just have to to go and test to see which ones you know you like better and the transportation so you see here you can make roads you can make all type of roads uh you can see here you can make normal roads fast lanes you can get like little let me see here you can make like <laughs> obviously I cannot hear because the street won't let me so it's a little weird there but um you see here I can make different kinds of roads <laughs> large inter uh, how, do you, how do you say that large interchange yeah so you know for big cities and stuff I mean this 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 simulator is great in that way I mean it does give you a lot of uh, a lot of things to work with which is really really nice many things you can do but uh, these are the big ones I mean you can make just normal roads like this you know you can connect here with like a little connection here which is nice yep and uh, that, that obviously helps with the traffic um, let's see here let's see what else we can do we can make bridges nice obviously that's a little bit weird me making a bridge there but you know it, it, it's cool obviously you know for example in this map you, see, you can see I can actually expand the map like this uh, yeah, I can make bridges to just go over the mountains and whatnot. It's pretty cool. On some maps you got lakes, and it, it's nice to make those bridges, which is pretty cool. And lastly, we have here pack. Now these are special in that um, you would usually not be using them. You, you don't specially use them for the uh, for your for the well-being of your town uh, of your city as much as it's just for looks. So you see here, you know, I can make this awesome. Awesome looking houses. They actually cost a lot, but they look pretty nice. And uh, this package here is for residences on the Americas. So these houses represent what would be, uh, I guess, the American style. Um, so here, I mean, these are sea houses. I need water for that. Let's see here. Must be placed in the water. Must be placed in the ground. So you see here, you know, it looks pretty, pretty cool. You know. This R says here the special stuff you know you can build. Um, you got buildings, those are houses. So you can make actual big buildings. You can make like an awesome water restaurant. It says here must be placed in water, which is pretty cool. Uh, you know, a restaurant for the ground. It's nice. Uh, you got here blueprints. Now these are the big stuff. This is like I guess what you would call the uh, the <laughs> the uh, legendary buildings. You know those RTSs. You see here you can make you can make <laughs> just just ridiculous stuff um, let me just go ahead and put that again here blueprints now I like that it's pretty it's pretty badass though um, this one's actually you can see there it says minimum construction time 19 hours uh, I mean it's, it's 19 in-game hours obviously but um, you can actually speed that up here times 5 if you want but um but yeah, I mean, you can do many different things, and you see here there are many different uh, Empire State buildings, which is pretty cool. Um, you can make it the Statue of Liberty, and you know many different things. And that's for the Americas. You can actually choose Europe and choose, you know, the <laughs> Rhodes Colossus. It's pretty cool. Uh, let's see here what else we can do. We can Asia, you know, different different things. You can make Terrans like here, Chinese Plaza. This is pretty cool. You can make a little plaza there, looking Chinese and stuff. Um, you can make some beach stuff here, beach houses, beach buildings, you know, little jacuzzis and whatnot, mountains. It's really cool. Like the variety is actually really, really big. And I mean, this is just the original game. God knows how many expansions are gonna be for this game. So I mean, for for a city simulator, uh, this is what you're looking for. Like this game is what you're looking for if you want the city simulator. It is. It is really good in terms of just exactly how much you're actually getting for this game, and uh, and I mean the, the the trick about this game is your your imagination. I mean your imagination is really the limit here, because I mean with everything you can do, you can make a you can make for example here, you can actually make each house. I mean you can set up each house individually, so you don't have to do like what I was doing, where you actually set them set them up by blocks like this. So I mean, you can actually personalize your your city, you know, just as you like it, which is really cool. And uh, I suggest you guys give it a shot. Let's go ahead and put some elites here, high density houses. Let's just check out how that looks. Let's see here, high density elite houses. It's pretty it's like little mansions. It's pretty cool. 
<laughs> but um, yeah, I mean, with that, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. I'm just uh, giving you guys a little look um, on CDs 2012. It's a pretty cool game. Um, if you have the uh, the computer to handle this, then I suggest just playing on the top graphics and just marveling at the city. It's just really cool. I mean, just going around, you can see many different things just here. Recording studios, a nice office there. Many different things. I mean, just just looking and marveling at it, it's pretty cool. But um, yeah, I'm um, see you guys later. Rex out.